Modding is crazy. I mean, Hogwarts Legacy just came out not too long ago, and you can already fly around as Shrek across the map. Which is why today I'll be diving deep into the Mortal Kombat 11 community mods, giving you my top 10 most epic, badass, and downright crazy modifications that will literally take your experience in Mortal Kombat 11 to a whole new level. And I'm not gonna lie, some of these mods actually made me question at times if I was even playing the same game. So without further ado, this is the top 10 Mortal Kombat 11 mods that you can't miss. I got a list here because I can't remember all 10 off the top of my head, but coming in at number 10 is the Cheats mod. This mod by Armacer is pretty simple, yet it does quite a bit of damage. You can do infinite crushing blows, easy crushing blows, 1% health, infinite health, or even zero health to your opponent. For instance, if you're ever stuck on a challenge tower or the towers of time, you can literally just give your opponent 1% health or zero health and just go up the tower and claim all the prizes. Or if you want to just mess around and pull off some really cool combos with infinite crushing blows, that makes for a pretty cool video. Coming in at number nine is the speed modifier, which is pretty self-explanatory. You get to change the speed of the game or the character themselves. And if you're like me, you think that Mortal Kombat 11 is a pretty slow paced game and you prefer the fast pace of Mortal Kombat X. Or maybe you don't like MKX or MK11's game speed, but you like something in the middle. Well, with this mod, you can just change the game speed itself and play to however you want. I bumped the game speed up all the way. That way, MK11 plays more like MKX and it just feels like a much better game. Coming in at number eight is the size modifier. And just like the speed modifier, it's pretty self-explanatory. You get to change the size of either character. This means you can change any part of the body. I'm talking about their head, their hands, their arms, their legs, their feet, basically anything. You can make them a giant or you can make them really tiny. I had a couple of videos where I created giant characters versus the miniature size characters or just too many characters fighting against each other. It's a pretty fun mod to do if you're bored or you just want a quick laugh. Number seven is the tag assist mod. I actually love using this mod because it brings to life that Mortal Kombat 9 2v2 feeling. Not only does it bring that nostalgic feeling, but you can actually customize both player one and player two's tag assist options. And you can also use NPCs like Cyrex, Sector, Fire God, Liu Kang, and even Kronika. The only problem with this mod I've seen so far is that it tends to crash a lot or doesn't work too often. So if it does crash, I'm sorry. Number six, we have the Crypt modification. One of my favorite features in Mortal Kombat 11 was their Crypt mode. They basically incorporated your conquest mode and the crypt combined. Of course, I'd like to see more from the conquest mode and let that expand further in Mortal Kombat 12. But to be able to free roam this large map and open all these chests, get all these different augments and rewards is really awesome to see. Now let's take that up a notch with the crypt mod where you can actually play as any character you want. Imagine playing as Liu Kang, Kung Lao, Sub-Zero, Scorpion, Cyrex, and Sector. You can even play as Fire Guide, Liu Kang, and Kronika. It's pretty incredible incredible to see what this mod can do and when I play as Liu Kang, Kung Lao, Scorpion, and Sub-Zero, it gives me that nostalgic vibe of playing Shaolin Monks. Hopefully in the next Mortal Kombat game they can expand on their crypt making it a little bit more of a conquest mode as well and you can play as any other character, that would be perfect. Number five is the Cyborg mod. As much as I love the Cyborg mod, it is a little bit of a hassle to actually make this happen and if you're new to mods and don't know too much about what folders to put them mods in, how to go into the notepad and change up the coding, I guess you can say, this might not be the mod for you. I know that I am definitely new to modding and whatnot, so when I first tried this out, it was definitely a hassle and took me a while. In this mod, you can make any character in Mortal Kombat 11 and turn them into a cyborg. After the long process is completed, it's pretty awesome to use. I've turned Joker, Nightwolf, Shang Tsung, and Shao Kahn all into cyborgs. It's definitely one of the most creative mods I've seen so far in Mortal Kombat 11. Number four, are the skin mods, specifically from Char. Now, if you haven't checked out this channel, please go check it out. I've done a lot of reaction videos to Char's skin modifications and they look awesome. Some of my personal favorite skin mods were Buzz Lightyear, Woody, Chucky, Saw, the classic Mortal Kombat 3 skins, the Riddler, Ronald McDonald, the list just goes on. One of the biggest complaints I had for Mortal Kombat 11 was the lack of unique skins. Although we had a lot of skins to choose from for each character, I was pretty disappointed to say the least about the customization and uniqueness of all the skins. And I was pretty surprised that a lot of classic skins didn't get incorporated into the game. But seeing Char add all of these classic skins and even doing some unique ones like Mr. Incredible or Buzz Lightyear or Woody is really a sight to see. Number three is the camera control mod. One of my favorite things about this camera control mod, besides the fact that you can actually free roam and explore all of the arenas and explore the whole crypt, is the fact that you can have a different point of view. There are two third
third person and first person views, a head perspective view, as well as an Injustice 2 view. Using the first person view and the head perspective view is actually how I created the Mortal Kombat VR experience, which was such an amazing project. I loved setting the point of view to first person or head perspective, fighting out a couple of rounds, doing fatalities, brutalities, crushing blows, and fatal blows, editing all those clips together, putting it onto my Oculus headset, and watching it in real time was such an amazing project. Number two is the custom brutality mod, and I'm gonna throw in the Harakiri mod as well. This mod is really creative because just like the name itself, you can actually have custom brutalities for any character you want in Mortal Kombat 11. You can give Scorpion Sub-Zero's brutality or Sub-Zero Scorpion's brutality. You can even have Scorpion do a brutality on himself. If you wanna get really creative, you can also do fatal blows and crushing blows and allow those to have brutalities too. The best part about these mods is that you can actually set the health to when you want the brutality to activate or you can press a simple key on your keyboard to activate the mod. So that's how I do a lot of the Harakiri videos, the Fatal Blow Brutality videos, and even the Crushing Blow Brutality videos. And that's not even the best part. You can actually use the NPC mod, which I'll get to in a little bit. You can input those custom brutalities for the NPCs and those NPCs can have their own brutalities. So it just creates a whole other level and dynamic to Mortal Kombat 11. And you probably guessed what number one is since I just said it, but it is the NPC mod. For this NPC mod, you can play as four different non-playable characters, which is Cyrex, Sector, Fire God, Liu Kang, and Kronika. And like I mentioned previously, you can actually incorporate all the other mods that I listed before. So you can use the camera mod, the speed mod, or the custom brutality mod with all these NPCs. This mod is my number one because I love the fact that I can use Cyrex, Sector, Fire God, Liu Kang, and Kronika and incorporate all these other custom mods into the game. It's basically basically like we got a whole other combat pack with Mortal Kombat 11. Both Cyrex and Sector basically have their same exact moves from Mortal Kombat X, so if you played that game before, you'll basically know what their movesets are in Mortal Kombat 11. So it's awesome to see all their combos that they can do, but the only downside is that they don't have crushing blows and they don't have fatal blows. I mean, one of the updates might have given them crushing blows, but I'm not too sure. That's my top 10 list. Let me know in the comment section below which mod was your favorite. I'll be leaving links in the description below so you guys can check out where you guys can find these mods as well as my tutorial on how to download it as well. Wait, I thought Ermac and Smoke weren't playable in Mortal Kombat 11, but this video shows that they're in the game. How is this possible? Well, if you wanna find out, make sure you click here.